Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi and yes, I believe in Bitcoin and I do TA videos and today another beautiful TA view with like four amazing charts of which the last two ones. Really cool doing the video from inside. Uh, I'm in Mexico, I have all my family visiting me here so downstairs a little bit noisy um, now let's quickly jump into the charts over the back. Beautiful chart. Yes, I've been sharing this chart now for a couple of weeks. Um, I told you guys we had that low and we had that falling wedge. We had a breakout. We did a retest and then we went up. Then the second move, we created this new higher low and we had a falling wedge. We had a breakout without a retest all the way up to that 65K again. Uh, 67, I think even. Let's see exactly. Yeah. 67. Now, then again here, this falling wedge, we had a breakout. We are retesting it, but we are retesting it again. The higher low is still intact. The moment we create a lower low than this one, that is the moment I will get a little bit more bearish. Till that time, we are creating higher lows. I am bullish. So for me, nothing is like terribly wrong at the moment. We have been down below that 200 um, moving average line for many more time over here, over here, now again a little bit, so let's see what is going to happen. Maybe we can see it on the BAM, zoomed out day chart. Ah, there was a long flag on the 15 minute and the BAM indicator. If you have the BAM indicator, it will tell you. This is the day chart. On the day chart, um, I want you guys to focus on the same. We have a low, a high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low. If you count this wick as low or this area, both higher lows, we need to have a higher high again, around 70K. Now, every time when we see this happening over here, let's see how I can draw that to show you, where the bandwidth of the blue cloud becomes very thin, that is the moment we see a huge breakout. So we saw it over there, but over here again, look, the bandwidth became very small, the blue area, and we had a breakout to the downside again, and then bam, we bounced up. But every time when that happens, when that bandwidth contracts, how do you say that in English? Beautiful English contracts, yes, becomes thinner. We break out to the up or to the downside. At the moment, we are doing the same again on the daily chart. Look, the bandwidth is becoming thinner. So that means we are going sideways. And after a sideways movement, we mostly break up or down. So I cannot predict the future, but I can predict the probability of what the move can be. And that is what I do with the Bam Bam indicator, guys. So um, if you want to trade all of this, I will show you some more information about it later. But if you want to trade all of this, then you can use Bybit. And Bybit, I mentioned to you many times because Casta was going to launch on Bybit. They did launch on Bybit. And how did they launch on Bybit? On the Bybit Launchpad. So if you have a Bybit account, then you can go to the Launchpad you can stake some bits, that's the token of Vibit, and when you stake bits, you get access to all these launches. Now, Casta launches today, so um, one Casta was 0 0.0188 bit, and total 142 million bit was staked, so 77,000 participants, and in total 25 million Casta is allocated. And Casta's launch was amazing because they launched and they are now already $1.20. So people could get up to 9,500 Casta tokens for free by staking some bit. And that token is now $1 value. There's 9,000 US dollar you could have had. So if you didn't sign up yet, use the links down below my video to get signed up to buy bit as you can trade as you can stake as you can leverage trade you can do a lot of stuff over there at buy bit guys um and the bonus at the moment is i think four thousand one hundred us dollar for just signing up next chart bam over here this is the five day channel we are zooming out on the five day channel i told you guys if you would go into this gaussian channel that would mean we would be pulled to the midline we have been touching the midline once almost twice now this midline needs to hold if this midline doesn't huddle 
then we can fall down below the midline and that could be a retest of the 41k if this midline hodls it's like 46k then we could return back and break that top at 50k when we break that top that will be the start of the next move that is how simple i look at the charts now do we have any more charts yes of course for the ones that are asking themselves about the bam indicator yes the bam indicator is working let's see this is the one hour chart just an example on the one hour chart there is a long over there the short is over there there's a long over there there's a short over there so that would be for example spot trading buy it at 46k selling at 47k that's 1k profit buying at 45 900 selling at 46 600 that's seven that's like 2k profit almost in like two days trading just by using the bam bam indicator for spot trading there is something else i'm using the oryx platform so i'm going to scroll down and this chart over here is very important and um, you know this chart i've been sharing this chart also i think already for over a year it's the fibonacci retracement chart um, from the year 2017 all the way up to this year now so you can see something very important this red line the 2.618 this one is very important we, we found support again on that line and the thing that i want to zoom into now is that every time in the rsi when we have this downward trend line and we break out the price jumps up you see here and then we make this downward trend line for the rsi again then we break that bam we jump up now we are making that downward trend line of the rsi again. we tried to break it we didn't over there so we are going down when we break this one again in my opinion the price will follow and why is this colorful background to Fibonacci levels why are they there i will show you one more time just zooming out a little bit they are there because we took the peak of 2017 which is the one level the bottom over here in 2018 at 3k that's the zero level and if you draw the fibonacci then you get these important levels and you can see on the chart that these levels were important every time the green line over here the gray area over here the blue line support 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 the red line now support 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 so that is why fibonacci works now do we have more charts yes and need to be quickly already eight minutes two more charts really cool keep on hanging in there and um, this one is the first one bam i really like this chart because i found that one on twitter um let's first put my face somewhere that it not disturbs the whole chart over here um to understand this chart you need to pause the video and completely read it it was made by black on twitter and what i think what i like is the fibonacci um how he counts the fibonacci levels look um every time we have a bottom and after that we have the resistance we um we create this new resistance line that will build a structure of the market which gives us this fibonacci retracement level here and the first time that level here the two orange lines and because of those levels you get this double u pattern 2013 mid cycle top was at 1.618 and the peak was at 2.72 now the 2017 mid cycle top was a 2.618 so not 1.618 but 2.618 and the peak was at 3.72 do you see what is happening 2.72 2013 peak 3.72 2017 peak that's over there and we get those peaks and these fibonacci levels because of this because of those two levels again the bottom at zero and then the resistance area support area at 0 0.38 that one was here not at 0 0.38 so it's moving the 2021 mid cycle top over there at 3.618 that is this top and we found that bottom over here at zero and then we found that resistance support area at 0 0.5 so we are going down below here from 0 0.2 to 0 0.38 to 0 0.5 so we're moving up in the fibonacci and because of those two lines if you calculate the same way at the previous bull runs then the top should be over here at 4.272 it's difficult that's why i said pause it 2013 peak 2.272 2017 peak 3.272 
2022 peak could then be 4.272. That is how it works. So difficult chart, but pause the video and check it more. One more chart, bam, this video is going too long. Why is Bitcoin important? No math, no model, just data. This was uh, tweeted by Plan B, of course. The market caps, you can see them over here, silver, diamonds, gold, and real estate, and Bitcoin is the blue dot. Now, here, silver and diamonds have these market caps over there. Last time, we were down below those market caps. Now we are at the same level or even higher than those market caps. We are going up. Now, gold market cap is over here, 10 trillion. We need to make blue dots, more blue dots that comes near to this yellow dot. And at the end, we will even go maybe here to the real estate. So we are slowly climbing up the ladder. There's a lot of dots. Here, not all dots are filled yet. So more dots needs to appear. And hopefully they will be between the green and the yellow dot. So between the diamond and the gold uh, market cap. Now, that was everything for today. I hope you bam, really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. For the ones that are in Mexico, today I'm speaking in Tulum, again, about a beautiful project, together with a beautiful project, project token of me. Check them, really cool. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bam.